Big thank you for staying late. I appreciate it's Saturday night. I appreciate it's Wimbledon. It's party time and everything else. So I appreciate you staying. What I'm going to give you in return is how to do SEO. Anyone here an expert at SEO or know anything about SEO? Right. I guarantee I'm going to upset you a lot. Okay. If you think you know SEO, you don't by the end of these 90 minutes. So firstly, um, I'm the token Brit of the day. Everybody else has been American, so you've got me this evening being the token Brit. So hopefully, uh, we won't be getting you dancing in the aisles. We won't be getting you to do woo-woo, because we're not those sort of people, are we? No, we're, all, we're reserved. We're British. We don't do that type of thing. So just a polite, jolly good show chat will be fine, okay? Jolly good. Okay, let's get straight in, because I realize we've been here for a, a while. So let's go on. There we go. So, firstly, let me ask you a question. Who here would like to earn a thousand pounds right now in the next month? Would that make a genuine difference to your life? Yeah? Actually, who's here is fed up of raising their hand today? <laughs> I, I, I've been to that many seminars, and uh, in my, I've been online now for nine years, and I'm sure my left hand and my left muscle is that much stronger. And it is, honestly, through going to seminars and raising my hand, nothing else. But essentially, that's what they get you to do. But I'm not going to get you to do that too much, but I also want to keep you awake because I realize it's late. So right now, most people talk on the internet. And you probably get these emails in your inbox every single day saying, Joe X earned $64 million last year online and how you can do it too, etc., etc." Now, be honest. Raise your hand if you honestly believe you can earn $64 million online. One or two. Well done. That's great. But I'll be honest with you. I'm a Brit. Let's be honest because we're British. Sorry, hung, you just get rid of that out of my pocket. It's annoying me. <laughs> my, my mobile phone, sorry about that. Just take that one, cheers. Um, let's be honest, okay? The truth is you can earn as much money as you want on the internet. You've just got to learn and look for the patterns. Like Armand says, you know, success leaves traces. I say success leaves clues. And it's all about piecing together. Who here has made $1 on the internet? Well done. I guarantee you, if you go back and start to look at how you made that dollar, you could make that to $10, $100, $5,000, 50000 100000 Would you agree? You made it $1, what's going to stop you making the rest? Anyone give me an idea what would stop you making the rest of that, from that $1 to $50, to $500, to 5000 Just shout it out. Okay, some good answers. The answer really is a system. You've heard this said time and time again. And what I showed Mark at the Elysium, he keeps going on about these hotel meetings we have. My wife, gets Fiona, gets a bit concerned. I say, just popping off to see Mark at the hotel. But it's all genuine. We do go down there and work. But essentially what I've done is put together a system that literally anybody can use. And I mean literally anybody can use. So first off, let me just show you, because I want to give you a little reward for being here. So let me just go off and show you something. Who here has got a product? Raise your hands. Okay, who here wrote the copy for that product? Keep your hands raised. Okay, who here didn't? Who paid money to a copywriter? I'm not going to diss a copywriter because we've got a very successful one on tomorrow. Okay, they're not cheap, agreed? Okay, who here would like to watch me write a sales letter in less than about two minutes? Yeah, and one that sells. My able assistant, my wife here, Fiona, give her a round of applause. Okay, what we're going to do here, and this is all about systems, okay, because I'm all about systems. I don't want to work that much. I'm quite lazy. You can see here at the top, it says, create audio niche product sales letter. Now, I normally would show you this later on, but we're going to do marathon running. You'll see why later on. You put in the niche, your pen name or your real name if you want to be known in that market. Don't worry about the ClickBank sales link for now. Put in, don't worry about that. You can go down, forget that. And then literally all we're going to do here is we put in titles of articles. So if I was doing marathon running, what would be you know, the five things you must know about hydration? How not to hit the wall? Can we all come up with, like, what we got there? Ten, ten article titles? I'm not saying you have to write the articles, just ten article titles? And obviously you can use any of the speakers, what they've told you about how to find the latest you know, pressure points in the industry by looking at Google News and Opera and anything else that you want to do. And then literally all we do is click a button, not yet, create sales letter. Who here thinks they could do that? Be honest, anybody? Everybody? Yeah? Right, click create sales letter. Now. now. <laughs> right, one, two, oh, there we go, we've written a sales letter. Okay, 
And it says there, who here wants to discover the top 20 surprising reasons why everything you think you understand about marathon running is completely wrong? If you scroll down, we've got a proper sales letter. This isn't one that you've had to sit there and type for hours. It's got all the bullet points in there, everything else tells you about it. We've got a product graphic as well. You put your order button in, done. There is a sales letter for a product. There are your 10 bullet points that you can see there, one, two, three, four, etc. your titles. That is your sales letter written that will convert on average at 4%. Is that good? Yeah? Okay, very, very simple. It's all about systems. It's all about using the internet for your benefit, not getting you working. Let's go back to the PowerPoint for that now. Thank you. Talking about the internet, again, I'm going to be British here. The internet is actually very boring. Anyone agree with me? Raise your hands if you honestly think the internet is boring. What the hell are you doing here? <laughs> no, in all seriousness, though, when you get down to the nuts and the bolts of the internet, like any job or career or anything else, you can go and sit there. Um, essentially, it gets very boring because you have to go out and work. Now, I'm a lazy git, um, and I moved over to Cyprus because I didn't want to really work anymore. But I needed a system that was still going to allow me to earn income whilst I was living over there. But, as I said, the problem is, is it gets boring doing articles, writing press releases, creating videos, creating CDs to give away. Does that sound like a lot of work? Be honest. Yeah? What's the reality of you sticking with that day after day, submitting to video sites? Even with these tools that make it so much easier, it still work. You've still got to create videos. You've still got to write sales letters. Not me. I get a guy in Malaysia to fill out those buttons for me, and I pay him like 50 cents to do that for me. It's like 25p for me to create a sales letter. How easy is that? I'm not even writing the sales letter. I'm getting somebody else to fill out the form. But raise your hands again. Who'd like to earn £2,000 in the next 30 days? Right, keep them raised if you'd like to earn £2,000 in the next 30 days by cleaning toilets. Okay, one or two of you. Now, there's a point here. You may laugh, okay? There's a point here. The internet, I'll be honest with you, I've been online, say, nine years now. I've been through every possible traffic generation, uh, name capture, you name it, I've pretty much tried everything because that's what we do. We go off and try everything on the internet because we can, why not? But the genuine reason is, is that being on the internet is a bit like cleaning toilets. And if you enjoy cleaning toilets, you'll have a whale of a time. But the reality is it's actually a lot of work and it's actually dull, repetitive, boring work. So the whole point there is to keep systems in place to do the work for you, and for the bits that you can't automate via software, like I've shown you, then you may have to get somebody else to do that for you, because you don't want to be doing it. The only bits you want to be doing is looking for the successes that take you from $1 to $10 to $50 to $5,000 to $10,000 to whatever goal you want. Agreed? Okay. If you don't cheer up, I'm going to have to get you jumping up and down and go, woo, woo. Oh, by the way, they've named the day after me in Paphos. It's called the Lazy Git Day. Um, anyway, moving on. So, okay, just quickly, what's the, is this your criteria to earning money online? Because this should be, if you want the internet lifestyle, and let's be honest, I agree, most of you here, hands up here if you're interested in just earning money full stop. Be honest. It's not about the money, agreed? What's it about? Someone just shout out something. Freedom. Freedom. Spending time at home with your kids, your family, etc. That's what it's about. That's why you're here. That's why you want to break away from your job or get away from the business that you own or whatever. You should be not creating another job for yourself by getting on the internet, agreed? Now, I'm not dissing anybody else's packages or anything they've told you, because it's all true. You do the work, you'll get the results. But for me, I don't want to do that. It's too much like boring, repetitive work. So this should be your criteria, realistically, if you want to earn money online. You should be wanting to do as little work as possible, agreed? You should be doing as little thinking as possible. I'm not the brightest short, you know, kid in the box in that respect. I've got no GCSEs, Rodney, or anything like that. You should be doing as little knowledge as possible. You should be able to enter any market on the internet, as you've gathered already, but you should be able to do it without any knowledge at all if you really want to. And finally, you should use as little money and as little time cost as possible. The big thing I can reveal to you, no matter how successful you are, speak to any of the internet entrepreneurs out there, whether they're successful or not, the biggest thing they have a problem with is time. Okay, time is worth more than you believe. It's one thing you can't get back. Okay, so you should look to automate, outsource, get rid of as much of the boring grunt work that you're not going to get the reward. The internet gets exciting, as the other guys have said, when you look at your inbox and you've made another sale overnight. 
or you've had more money from AdSense, or Amazon have just sent you a big paycheck, or eBay have sent you a paycheck. That's where it gets exciting, okay? Just quickly about me, I'm not going to go on about me for hours and end and show you videos and all this sort of stuff. I'll just very quickly give you an idea of who I am and where I've come here. Who's in debt? Okay, a lot of you, yeah? I, went, I was over £150,000 in debt, and this is how to impress your girlfriend, rule number one, not. <laughs> um, my wife now, then girlfriend, we were going out for three weeks, four weeks, something like that. And uh, I casually dropped this bombshell a week before Christmas that actually in the next seven days, the flat that she was going to sort of come over and have dinner with was actually going to be repossessed because I had no money coming in and uh, basically I was in serious trouble. And I was 150 grand excluding the mortgage. The mortgage on that flat was about 70 grand. So over 200 grand in debt. Seven days away from it being all taken away from me. Uh, now really at that point, you, you, raise, you, you get to the point where you go, do I either just like you know, jump off a bridge do a Michael Jackson, whatever it may be, or do you just carry on, okay? Ultimately, you just want to carry on, and you have to dig in. So that's what I've done. I decided to uh, get off my duff, my butt, whatever you want to call it, and actually do something, because that's what it's all about. You're here to learn, okay? But my big criteria online is you guys should not be learning. You should be earning whilst you learn. Agreed? Who wants to learn? And not earn anything? Oh, you raise your hands to say that. No, seriously, okay? It's all about... Earning whilst you're learning, not learning and then trying to earn, okay? If I now fast forward to where I am, that was six years ago. I must get this right, otherwise Fiona will give me a horrible life. I'm now really living the internet lifestyle. I've moved from uh, the UK to Cyprus three and a half years ago. I've been to just a few places here. Egypt, I go to the Maldives regularly at least once or twice a year, stay in the best water bungalows, etc., relax. Uh, I'm not even allowed to take my laptop with me. Try that if you're an internet, <laughs> internet marketer, not being allowed to take your laptop with you. It's like withdrawal symptoms. Um, that's the view from my office, not a bad view. That's my current home. And in here in the middle is a home that we've just bought a piece of land on, and that's the home that we designed that we're going to place on it. Worth about a million pound plus. All that from that tiny little flat all being repossessed, all because of systems and actions. That's all it, can, all it is. You can make money, you've just got to look for the pattern, and then apply the system to it. Agreed? Yeah? The other thing about the internet, and this is where it gets really exciting, and this is really where it gets exciting with the internet, and this may push your buttons or not, but it certainly has done for me, is you also get to do some crazy things. Okay? And some of you may, me, may have seen me speak last time here at uh, Mark's event in London. Uh, I ran the London Marathon this year. Okay? Now, for some of you, you may think, Jesus, how on earth did you do that? I could never run a marathon. That's like saying you could never earn 100 grand online. The answer is you could, you just got to be committed and focused, have a system, look for the, the signs, and you will make money. Picture of the medal, picture of me looking slightly knackered, etc., uh, etc. Et but also, I've now decided to go one stage further, and you're the first guys that have heard this. Uh, there's a little thing coming up in a couple of years' time called London 2012. Now, yours truly... Um, basically will be representing, all being well, uh, if things go according to plan, Cyprus in the 100 metres. Okay? Why? Because I don't have to work on my business. The money's coming in, any bills are being paid, I've got money spare, I can take time out, I can dedicate to training for the next two years, full-time on this, etc. I used to be a sprinter when I left school a long, long time ago, that's now why I'm getting into it again. Uh, although I am slightly young, at 34 years old for a sprinter. So it, come 36 years old at London 2012, it could be a bit of a... I'll be the one at the... At the when they're running through the finishing, I'll be still...